Hello and welcome to my kind of first episode on Emacs and just going to do a quick introduction. Uh, I started using Emacs about a year ago. It's been a crazy journey uh, with multiple configs and things changing and it is a learning experience. Um, I used traditional text editors before like Sublime and VS Code and Atom and uh, before that I used Eclipse at one of my jobs and I've used IntelliJ as well. Uh, and their suite of 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 apps of uh, editors, uh, and just over a year ago, I decided to kind of get straight, like get into this Linux thing, right? And um, I tried Vim, and wow, it's uh, yeah, I, I I just can't get my head around the different modes and having to switch between editing and movement. Uh, for me, like I feel as though it should all just be in the same the same thing. But that being said, you know, Vim is also powerful. People love it. I don't have anything against it. Or people, I don't have anything against people that use Vim. I just don't, didn't really get on with it. Uh, I started using Emacs and yeah, it just things just kind of clicked and they are slowly improve, like kind of clicking more and falling into place and I'm discovering more things and, and um, kind of becoming more productive. Um, with with my work and just general kind of typing note taking things like that um but emacs essentially isn't really a text editor as such it's actually an interpreter for the elisp programming language uh but you kind of don't need to know that to get started it's um yeah it's it's just a kind of small detail and you know i think it can be a lot of things that you, you want it to be like you can check your email on it you can run terminals on it you, i mean the things that you can do on it is crazy it's kind of like a mini os um but i think most people get into emacs um for the text editing abilities so that's kind of what i'm going to focus on really to start off with the things that make it make emacs different to other editors is that um because it is an interpreter for elisp underneath everything is a command um and I'm kind of in this intro I'm kind of gonna because one of the things that I found hard when I first started using Emacs is I learned all the keyboard shortcuts that's what I focused on learning and I didn't really understand that underneath everything all they do is run a command they are just keyboard shortcuts for a command for a function that gets wrong uh, that gets run um so in this I'm going to try and kind of describe both um, because some things aren't available as keyboard shortcuts, and obviously some things are, are way more powerful as keyboard shortcuts. Um, another thing on that as well, because they are running functions, the, the way that I think of the keyboard shortcuts is like you'll do one keyboard shortcut to kind of get the function ready, and then you might do another keyboard shortcut or even multiple keyboard shortcuts after that to kind of define the parameters of that function to get the, to, to get the output that you want. Um, and kind of to do all this, you are going to be using the control and meta key, which is generally the alt key, key a lot. So I, I've i rebound my caps lock to control, because uh, otherwise you hurt your little finger stretching down <laughs> to get control. So that's, I mean, you don't have to, it's just, it's just what I do. Um, so I guess let's get into it and kind of look at first commands. Um, so to be able to type a command, you do uh, meta X or Alt X, uh, and then you'll see at the bottom of the screen you've got your little flashing cursor, um, so you can kind of type what you want. Um, so things like it has auto complete, so you can type save and then tab, and it'll show you the things that are available. Um, you can um, one of the useful things for kind of seeing um, to getting help is control H and then question mark and then you get this big list of things that you can do so you can then you know uh, press K and I can have a look at what control G does um, and it in the help as well it's quite useful because it tells you you know it is bound to control G and it's keyboard quit which is uh, basically just escape because escape can also be or is also bound as like a meta key so you can't if you do something you can't just like slam escape like you would on vim uh control g is basically escape uh so i should close that um 
so getting help is probably one of the most useful things. I mean, obviously reading through these things here is useful, but definitely the help is really useful uh, to look at and kind of go through. Um, I guess the first things that you want to do is you probably want to open files so you can find file and then I can do emacsd um, my init org. So this is my config, uh, my personal config. Uh, you can save the file with save buff buffer, nothing to be changed. Um, and you can switch uh, to a different buffer with switch buffer. And then, yep, I want to go back to there. Uh, you can just type in. So for example, I can do switch buffer, and then I can say my init autocomplete with tab, and then we switch back. Um, to close a buffer, you can kill buffer, and it's much the same. You'll get, by default, it'll be the one that you're on, but you can also you know, type out a buffer if you know the name of it that you want to quit. So I will kill that buffer. Um, you can also create new files or new buffers. Oops. Um, you can also create new files or buffers with switch to buffer as well. So if you switch to buffer, uh, it'll go to a default, but then you can type something like test.py and that'll actually create a new buffer but not save the file. So then if I wanted to save this file, or I could, you know, import OS. And then I want to save it, I can do save buffer. And then where to save it, I just do test.py. And then that's that's been written. Um, so obviously, I just showed you all the commands that you can do. But also, all of these things also have keyboard shortcuts. So if you want to, if I wanted to uh, close this file, kill the buffer, I can control X, K. And it brings up the same thing as if I wrote kill hyphen buffer by pressing alt X. Um, so obviously that's a lot quicker. Uh, yeah, I'll kill that. So you can kill there. You can open a file. So control X F. Well, no, control X, control F. <laughs> I do it so naturally it's hard to do it slow. Then I can open test.py. Uh, save the buffer. So if I was like, actually, I don't want any of that. You can say control X, control S. And that will save it. Um, and switch to buffer to create a new buffer, just like before, is control X, B. And then you can say test2.py, and that'll create a new buffer. I'll just kill that and kill that. Um, OK, so the other things that you probably want to be able to do is move around. So you can use the arrows like this. You can see just yeah, standard kind of movements. But you can also use, so you don't have to move down to the arrows if you have the arrows down to the right or the left or wherever you have them. You can also use uh, Control N to go to the next line, Control P to go to the previous line, Control F to go forward a character, Control B to go backwards a character. So it's kind of useful to get used to those as well. It's, it means you have to use your hands left uh, less. Um, to select things, um, so if I just go previous line, you basically just hold shift as you would in any other editor as you, uh, you can just previous, forward, back, uh, control G, escape, get rid of it. Um, so cut, copy, and paste are funny ones. They um, they have different names, and the way Emacs deals with your kind of copy and pasting is also a bit different. Um, they in Emacs basically to cut something you kill it, but you, it, it's not really killing it. There's a thing called the kill ring, and it basically just adds it onto the kill ring, so you can cut multiple times and then paste back through that history, but to start off with, I just ignored all that. And I just, yeah, I just basically <laughs> just used it as I would normally. So to um, cut something is, or kill something is Control W. 
oh, it's buffers read only. So I'll just create a test buffer and I'll write something in here so we can cut and paste and kill and ooh. That'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what the, the paste is. Um, so yeah, you can just select some, some uh, use your selection and move about and then control W will cut it and to paste it's called yanking and that's control Y. Pretty simple. Um, and obviously you can um, you can uh, also select something and open up your your command where well, you can write commands and you can say kill kill um, What's it called? Kill line buffer rectangle region. Kill region. So that's killed the region, and then I can just yank it back in as well. So you can still do all of those things. Um, so that's cutting and, and pasting, but you probably want to copy as well. Um, so to copy is so this is where Emacs goes a bit weird. Most of the things I've been doing so far, apart from running commands, I've used control. Um, in Emacs to copy, you basically kill you you kill what you're doing, but then you don't actually get rid of the thing you're killing. <laughs> it's called kill and save, so it's a bit weird. So it's it's essentially like quickly because one of the things if you if you cut, you can paste multiple times. Um, so what you're essentially doing is cutting it. It's going into the uh, into the into like your clipboard essentially, and then you can yank it multiple times, yank, 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 and it just repeats the same one. So to copy, you're essentially cutting it, putting it into that clipboard, but then immediately pasting it again. I, that's kind of how I think of it. And to do that, you you um, it, rather than Control W, you use Alt W or Meta W. And what that'll do, that, well, I should probably select something else. Let's do this. So you can Alt W and then Control Y, 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 Y. So that's basically cut, copy, paste. So cut is yank is Control. So this is also a notation you should get rid of. Capital C means Control. Uh, nope, cut isn't yank. Cut is kill. Uh, uh, w copy is kill and save, which is meta or alt W, and paste is yank, which is control Y for yank. I'm not sure why it's W, but there you go. Um, I think it's probably about it for now. Oh, undo is probably a good one. Um, so control backspace is undo. That's that's basically it. <laughs> uh, and I think they're probably all the things that you need for basic editing. Basic movement, cut, copy, paste, opening, saving, closing files, creating a new file, um, some of the terminology I've used is probably a bit confusing, uh, but I will I'll do other videos in the future about that. But for now, you know that it's just good to get acquainted with moving around and understanding, you know, how to get help, where the manuals are, um, and yeah, just the basic stuff and and the basic building blocks of Emacs. So everything is a command, everything is a function essentially, and you invoke them with keyboard shortcuts. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll do another one of these at some point. Uh, I'll go into more advanced features, but that's it for now. Cheers. Bye.